another episode of Cooking with the Charleses. You know, I found this recipe, I don't know, like maybe like six or eight weeks ago, and I hadn't got around to doing it. And then I couldn't find the recipe again, but you know, I kind of had like the idea of what I wanted to do in my head. Um, so I'm gonna make like, kind of like um, a seafood dish with vegetables, okay? But the first, and it's going to be baked, but the first thing I'm going to do is get the garlic going. I need mushrooms. My grease just goes everywhere. I need a little bit more garlic. So maybe a couple of ta um, tablespoons of garlic. Get that going. Next up is going to be the onions. Don't let the, um, the garlic burn. I'm an onion person, if you haven't known by now. And I like, I put like two good sized onions. I slice them up. But if you're not an onion person, you can just use one. Now on the bottom of this pan is olive oil. But so you can use whatever oil you want. I just like olive oil. We're gonna let these onions cook down for a little bit. And the heat is about, I started it about um, um, medium high. Now it's about on um, medium. Cause this pan holds heat very well and we don't want to burn. And it's also gonna bake in the oven. So let's get this all going. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. The onions have been cooking for maybe about three minutes or so. And I don't want this to cook too much. So I've got um, about eight ounces of mushrooms. I'm going to throw those in there. These are Bella. I prefer white, but um, these are on sale, so I just grabbed those. Now, the key to this recipe, um, it's going to be in, in the broth. I have a really good broth um, from my mom, I think when she was making um, some ribs. So it's like really flavorful. Um, you can kind of make your own seasoning mix, but if you've got a good broth, you like almost have to do nothing. Now for the fish that I'm gonna use, um, this was like a, a frozen fish. It was something I got on sale um, a, a few weeks ago. It was like a haddock. You can use whatever um, flaky white fish that you'd like to use, but I'm gonna use that. And uh, I've, it's already to the side. I've put some lemon and salt on there and it's just waiting to be topped with this delicious vegetable melody and thrown into the oven. But next up is going to be the bell peppers. And I love colorful bell peppers. So I got the tricolor pack. And we're just going to blend that in. Now, the broth does have a lot of flavor, but I do want just a little bit of basic salt and pepper on these vegetables. So I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic salt and a little bit of ooh, whole powder. And a little bit of pepper. And a little bit of this table salt. That's it, just to get the, uh, the flavors going. We're always tasting as we're going, and remember, 
the broth is coming so you don't have to work too hard and I'm very happy at this point that I added the onions um, two of the onions because look how look how much they've already reduced to this point okay this point right now get the rest of that salt on there I'm gonna add the tomatoes tomatoes and they were just like one like small pack it was whatever was on sale I cut them in half because I want those juices to be flowing but look at the color I'm in love with this color this dish is going to pop the original recipe called for the um, peppers the onions and the tomatoes um, I did add the mushrooms, because I love mushrooms. This is just about where I want it to be, because it's going to be in the oven for a bit. At this point, I want there to be a little bit of, of snap to the, the vegetables. So at this point, let me get the broth ready, and I'll be right back. This broth kind of looks like has like a gravy consistency, if you can see that. Absolutely delicious. Um, I'm gonna pour it onto my vegetables. Oh my, mm. okay. I didn't need all of it and that's okay. Let's bring that to a boil. And then I'm going to just let it simmer just a little bit. So everything kind of catches the flavor of that broth. And then I'm gonna pour it over the fish. I'll be right back. Here is the sauce and it's looking absolutely delicious. And while I was getting the, um, the fish ready, rinsed off, um, I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna put this in the oven. Let's just make this a one pan dish and put the um, the fish into this delicious mixture. It's tasting good. Um, to cook. So let me get my fish. This is the dish that it was gonna go in, but let's not worry about things overflowing. This pan has plenty of room. Let's kind of just like drop those fish in there. Ah. This isn't gonna take too long for it to cook at all. Make some space and put it in. Put that, uh, put those vegetables on top. Make some space, put it in, right on top. And right now I put it to a simmer. Last thing we need is for um, this delicious masterpiece to overflow, but we do want the, um, the fish to be able to cook completely. Put some of that on top and we do have one more piece left. I'm thinking this pack was two pounds, um, but I could be mistaken, so I'll double check. And you can have fun with this. You can put, you know, um, shrimp in it. You can put, what else, clams. Use your imagination, whatever you'd like to put here. Let's let this cook in about a good 15 or so minutes and then we'll check it, okay? We'll be right back. 10 minutes have flown by. What I like about, um, and this is still on low, the low setting for the stove top. But what I like about, you know, the flaky white fish varieties is that they cook so quickly. Um, so the fish is perfectly cooked. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to turn off the stove top and just let it cool down a little bit before we plate this over some rice. Let me taste the sauce and see. Let's see if it needs anything else. Oh, that is perfect. 
We'll be back in just a minute. And voila, it's um, cooled down just a little bit, but still a little hot. Let's get a spoon and serve this up. Okay, I only want like a little piece. Let's see if I can find something, something good. Oh, look at, you see how flaky that is? I'm just gonna take a little bit of this fish right here. Oh, wow looks delicious let's go and have you for the vegetables yes 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 i want a little bit more mushrooms if i can find them come on mushrooms come on come on okay so this is what i'm gonna get maybe a little bit more sauce because i'm a sauce girl let's get some rice i'll be right back all right, here is my plate. Got a little bit of rice, and then the fish is right there, and then all of the delicious vegetables. Before I hop in, I can't believe I've gotten all the way to this point, and I haven't invited you. If you are enjoying our content, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. We've got an ambitious goal of 2,000 plus new subscribers for this year, and we need each and every one of you to help. So if you're enjoying us, please like, share, and subscribe. And as well, thank you to our current and new subscribers. Welcome to the family, and welcome back, family members. Let's dive in. This is like super hot. So just a minute. I've got to get something to put under this plate. I can't pretend like this isn't hot. Okay, we are ready. Get a little bit of fish. Look how flaky that is. Oh my goodness. Let me get a little bit of rice. Mm. Bon appetit. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Whoever you decide to share this with, who I'm gonna share this with is my dad, but whoever you decide to share this with, I'm sure they're gonna absolutely love this. It's healthy, it's quick, aside from the prep. And you are going to absolutely just be in heaven with this delicious melody. Look at that, look at that. Mm. Well, that's it for today, but you can catch us next week, Wednesday, 7.30. And remember, life's better, well seasoned. Bye.